Hello everyone, this is uh, Peter Preby at Freedom Marine. And today I'm gonna walk you through this 2017 53 foot Regal Sport Coupe. This represents the largest boat that uh, Regal built. Um, and they've built it for now about 12 years. And uh, 2017, they made some pretty significant changes, including adding a third stateroom option, which this boat has. As you can see at the front here, you've got stainless steel anchor. This boat features 400 feet of chain, a water maker, an inverter, satellite TV, cell phone booster. It's really uh, nicely set up to do some long range, uh, long distance cruising in comfort. It also features a dishwasher and a washer dryer. So as we enter at the cockpit, as we enter on the transom here, this is a nice step here to walk on and a great transom with an aft facing seat. It's pretty unique on a boat this size. But lots of space here. You can just come sit down, you got a nice table and you're really well connected to the water. This boat has underwater lights. So at night, this would be a really cool spot to just sit and enjoy the scenery and watch the fish and all that stuff. There's some great storage on the port side there, featuring a hose reel as well. So it's got a long extended reel that comes out. Nice stairway up the starboard side. As we enter the cockpit, there's a great walk around deck on the starboard. Engine room hatch. There's a table that pops out here to make a little sideboard for when you're barbecuing and your barbecues set up right here. It's also an ice maker in the cockpit. And a great wraparound seating in the back here. This table also flips over and makes into a larger dining table at the back here. This features a upper salon with a door it's all stainless steel hardware, very, very high quality, very smooth operation as well. This window here actually drops down electrically as well. So it really opens up this whole space. As we enter the main salon, upper salon, you just see all the nice detail, large seat. Uh, this table has leafs at each end to make it to a really nice big dining table. On the starboard side, you have two fridges up here. You can see one here, another one here. With a large, large battery bank, this boat can sit for a fairly good amount of time while you're on the hook. It's a nice storage. There's even a sink up here. And there's also a 50 inch uh, TV that pops out of this cabinet right here. It's a 50 inch smart TV. So you can stream your devices to that as well. Just more storage, uh, custom garbage recycling bin underneath the helm seat for the upper salon here to work on. It's also a large sunroof that you can open up here. And then moving forward to the helm is one of the really nice features of this boat. It's got two large Captain seats with bolster. They can slide back and forward. The steering wheel is in an awesome position for driving. If I just lower this down here, you'll see. I can sit here. I've got a natural footrest. Wheels in a great spot. The throttles within reach. And this also has the Zeus pods. So this features the Cummins 6.7 liter diesels with Zeus pod drive. So you get the easy to maneuver joystick control. You got a nice window that you can open on your starboard side. Electronics, two nice garbage screens and everything's really clean, well laid out. And really nice is this visibility of full, full windshield. I can also stand here and look forward. I'm about six foot one. So you got great visibility and it holds a really nice angle through all the, through the whole speed range. 
in the middle here, there's a window that pops up as well. So you get great airflow if, um, or even just to converse with people up on the bow. It's a large window that opens up electrically. You can see all the skylights going down into the lower space. It's also just a nice, beautiful, sunny day here in Vancouver. There's some snow on the hill this morning. It's nice. But yeah, you can just see this big wraparound seating connected to the cockpit. This little storage cubby here. Pretty cool, kind of a dual stage setup there. Kind of a chart table, chart table and then a big locker. This whole upper salon is air conditioned and heated. It's just a really comfortable space. There's, there's actually blinds tucked up everywhere underneath here as well. So you can really make this into a cozy space at night if you just want to watch a movie and hang out. So entering the lower salon, you do have extra door. You got a bug screen here. So if you did have that aft door open and everything, you could leave this open, closed. And there's also another privacy door here as well, which has got latched up there. So as we lower, go down into the lower companionway, into the lower salon and the stateroom setup, we've got a really nice staircase with two handholds on each side. Actually, while I'm here, it's a pretty good chance to see everything. So the galley is a really, really well equipped. Um, it's got tons of counter space, great storage above, lots of drawers. Uh, the top drawer where kind of I'm pointing right now is a dishwasher, which I'll show you. There's a full size fridge and then two freezers. The other really cool thing is that they've, they've managed to put a third stateroom in this boat. It's in behind the store, which I will, uh, which I'll show you soon. Um, the owner added this, which is pretty cool. It's a pop up table. So, you know, it just adds, adds to the galley here. It's another prep station. Um, and you've got a nice little nook here to sit and hang out. So two or three people can sit here or one person just want to lounge, read a book while there's activity going upstairs. Uh, there's still lots of storage down here, custom wine rack and electrical panel here. Really easy to get to and kind of see all the systems you need. You can see we just plugged the boat in. I did go out for a sea trial just recently on this boat. So we just came back and so everything's getting a charge back up here. And there's your water maker control. That's your inverter charger control and your electrical panel. Everything's really nice, like great hardware, smooth. Really nice. Here's another look at these stairs. Just really nice, comfortable, easy to get up and down. No cur no turns, it's nice and wide. So over here in the galley, I'll show you this full-size fridge. Check that out. Can't get enough of refrigeration and this boat has a lot of refrigeration and the battery power and inverter to support it all as well so you're not running running out at night or things are cooling off so get another drawer here just get a light speaker built into it another little freezer drawer here too Moving over here, there's the dishwasher. It's a crazy nice Fisher Fisher Pascal, Fisher Pascal. Yeah, enough for like a six to eight dish setup. But really unique to have, and you still maintain lots of drawer space. You still get big drawers here. Lots of over overhead cabinets. Microwave, convection, hello.
underneath, you still have more all kinds of nice storage here. Drawers. More shelving, everything is just. Another great feature is two sinks. I know well on my own boat that I love having the two sinks somewhere you can wash, dry, just really handy to have two spots here. Good spot for a paper towel holder, very convenient. Oh, actually, this is a really cool feature. These, this is all uh, magnetic on the bottom and the little spice, your spice, uh, spice holders. So there's two layers here. So it's just a really easy out of the way spot, but a convenient spot where you're always trying to find somewhere for all that in drawers or cupboard spaces, but that's a really kind of slick setup that the owner of this boat did. Nice big window out right to the ocean. Another thing that this, uh, you know, the seller of this boat did was underneath here, this was just kind of a big open dead space. And he custom designed this pullout system here with drawers. And his one of his intentions was to have them at different sizes for different things. So different size cans, you know, for the canned goods and and larger items. Like everything's just kind of well thought out and spaced for for different uh, for different things that you need when you're out for those two or three weeks at a time. Even put a little light in here. Uh, another thing that Regal did, which again, you don't see a lot. You do see floor storage on boats, but watch this. When I open this, it's got a little shock on it. Actually two on this one. Really convenient. I don't have to lift it. I don't have to move it somewhere or place it down. It opens nicely and uh, just gives you great access to tons of storage space. This also has a very conveniently located water manifold system. So you can see everything's labeled. You can individually turn off different pipes, whether you want your outside taps or inside, or if you have a little leak somewhere, you can start uh, signal, you know, individualizing each one. And there's another big storage locker here. Again, I just lift. Don't have to put it anywhere. All these spaces have lights in them too that automatically come on. Again, just another big space. The seller of this boat in particular had uh, bins that he had down here and they were all labeled with, you know, just different things you need again while you're out for a long time. So I think I'm gonna move forward here. Let's we'll start forward in the forward VIP. You got a large queen, a large, uh, you know, double queen berth, standard, standard VIP size berth. What I really like is the storage in here as well. I can't say that enough on this boat, actually. Um, great overhead storage here. You know, these are big, big cabinets with two layers to them. Opening portholes, you get good airflow. Great overhead hatch. Again, on the, along the port side, more storage. And another like large size locker. Nice, nice big hanging locker. And then on the other side, let's see, they have another locker. Pretty rare, you might only find one locker in a boat and it's half the size, especially in a VIP stateroom. You still get drawers. So we got a really nice bank of drawers here. Again, more storage under the bed, big drawers. And even under this mattress, which if I had somebody to hold the phone, I'd lift this mattress up. <clears throat> and there's two large compartments ahead of the these drawers that are full. In, in fact, one side has a full setup of spare props and still more space. And then the other side's got a little bit more storage as well, but it, part of that's taken up with the uh, AC compressor. When you're in this forward stateroom, you walk up here. 
Let me just get a different perspective. It's also got its own TV. Even a little hook there. Just, you know, everybody's got a jack that they just have and they just want to drop it somewhere. It's a great spot. <clears throat> this stateroom also obviously has a little pocket door here to close this off, but it also has <clears throat> access to the you know shared head to your guests as well. Electric flush toilet, no vacuum flush or anything like that. Again, storage. You come in here, a nice spot to put your towels and just all your other <clears throat> items. Towel rack, proper size towel rack, light switches, and then your Tecma toilet control. Nice big shower. Hello again. There's more storage underneath. Nice sink. Just very well done. Another towel holder. Just go out this way. This just connects you back to the main hallway here. <clears throat> I'm going to show you this bunk room. When I first heard about the bunk room on this boat, I wasn't expecting a lot, I got to say, and especially in this size boat. But I was really impressed. It's got lots of floor space. Really nice, well built ladder for smaller guys to get, or you know, kids and stuff to get up to the top berth. And these beds are huge. I, I can stretch out on them and still have space at each end. But not only that, even the top berth gets all these overhead, same overhead storage lockers, like the forward VIP had. Nice light detail above. It has its own TV and lots of headroom. You know, it's always something with a bunk bed. I was concerned about that. <clears throat> this one's got lots of headroom. Nice, nice big, lots of light comes in. Does have a blind. Uh, it's gonna be a little shaky here for a sec, but you gotta check this out. Hard, it's gonna be a little hard to see. Oh yeah, of course, the owner put this little light here. There you go. So underneath the bed, again, it's got shocks, tons of storage. Right now, there's just a filler cushion here. But again, just really great, great use of space. Turn that light off. But still, lots more storage. Uh, the seller of this boat in particular, he decided to convert this locker, uh, which is a hanging locker normally, into pantry storage. So it just adds, again, more galley storage and just stuff. I mean, you know, with a boat, there's always stuff you need. These will pop out. So these could easily be removed and taken out in case uh, you just wanted to convert it back to the hanging locker. And then there's still more drawers below. But a lot of space, you know, you can just turn around freely. There's no, no imped impediment to that. Another hook on this particular door. Oh, there's part of the Bose stereo system for below. And another storage locker. Again, lockers, storage everywhere. But I know I've been going on a little bit on this boat, but uh, one of the best features is still to come. The master stateroom on this boat has a very, very unique design uh, for this size boat. A lot of boats in the 50 foot size range may tuck a bed up into a corner on an angle. It may be facing beam to beam, uh, or it may be as you walk in, the head of the bed is at the back wall right up against an engine room, which is traditional. Uh, I do like the bed when you walk in and it's right against the back wall. It gets lots of walk around space. Um, but the way they've done it on this boat is put it right at mid proper midships here with tons of space to move around it. It's also a fully flat floor everywhere. As you walk around the whole bed, it's all flat. And you have good separation from the engine room and the machinery space. So you have a layer of kind of like, almost like a wall, two layers, two walls between you and the engine room, generator noise, machinery noise. So it makes this room a very quiet space too. But as I keep going through, storage 
lots of great overhead storage here. Drawers below. Even a spot to hang out, like just a, you know, put a nice, they put a nice topper, like a nice kind of pad up top here and great spot if you just want to hang out, read and <clears throat> enjoy the view out the window here as you're sitting here. It's just great. So here's your master stateroom berth. Now everything that was on this on the uh, <clears throat> port side I just showed you is also on the starboard side. So again, big closets, lots of overhead storage, the drawers, bench. And here we have the toilet headspace. <clears throat> and lots of lots of storage, opening window. Hello, everybody again. There's another locker here. In fact, this particular owner, he's got all his boat manuals here. Doesn't get more clear than that. He's got instructions for everything on board the boat, including a checklist. Nice big TV. Yeah, it may have one or two, three, four TVs, but uh, you don't have to use them all. Sorry, I just had a call come in there. He lost there. <clears throat> and then more storage below. Moving on to the other side here. We got a large head, a large shower stall. Yeah, port, uh, opening porthole. Towel rack off to the sides. Nice big space. And again, just lots of headroom, clean. Really, really nice boat. Coming around this side, you can see the walkway here. More storage over here. So, yeah, just a really cool design here. Now, if you want to walk with me for a minute, I can take you down into the engine room space because uh, that is actually a really cool spot as well. This has a little dinghy garage for a small, for, it's a small boat. It's about eight and a half feet with a electric torpedo motor. Um, it also, when you open up the rear hatch on this boat, <clears throat> the whole transom uh, for the dinghy garage, when the dinghy is out, you can walk, you can literally walk right into the engine room. There's no crouching, there's no crawling around in it. You can walk right in and get to every single space of the boat, uh, every single space of the machinery room. Actually, I put my shoes. Um, and you don't have to go through the rear hatch. There is a great floor hatch here as well. Down. As you can see, it's got a nice ladder and lots of space to come down. So <clears throat> bear with me for a sec. So I am standing up in a 50 foot boat <clears throat> engine room. Here's your tender. It's very well lit. There's another water manifold, uh, water, another water manifold system. Water manifold system on the port side there. Generator, engines, pods, everything is here. And very accessible. Water maker right here. <clears throat> so your free filters, inverter chargers. Even access, super easy access to your shore power cord. This, these things can get jammed or just, you know, it, <clears throat> if you ever had to get to it, really easy. But, uh, yeah, really cool space. It's an outlet, it's got a little heater on down here. Everything's accessible, well labeled. 
and easy to get to here. Oh yeah, and it wouldn't be complete without a lot of cool blue lights. Better to see this boat at night, all the underwater lights on and lots of blue accent lights everywhere. He's got a light bar here. But for those of you that uh, have done a lot of cruising up in, you know, desolation or just anywhere you've stern tied or anchored at night and <clears throat> kind of coming back to your boat in the evening, this lights up that whole shoreline behind you. Makes it very nice and convenient. There are lots of boats that have spreader lights, but I think this light bar does a great job of, of doing that if you don't have those. Yeah, great cockpit seating, lots of cup holders. You can access this seat here, will pop out, and you can access the side, you go up your port side. So I think I want to do, close this hatch, it falls, me. We'll take you up the starboard side here. Then you'll get the sense of, so if you want to, if you're guessing, my knee is about here and the rail's here. So lots of, lots of good space. Actually, that gives you an idea too. I can actually stand feet side by side. Here's your hard top, sunroof, set TVs. Uh, the seller of this boat also added a second spotlight. <clears throat> so he added one on the roof here with a remote, and there's also one on the bow with the remote. He also added all this teak, this faux teak decking. It's really nice and really good, offers really good grip in. Uh, sun pads underneath here with backrest pieces that flip up, and his cup holders. And you know, just Regal thought of a lot of stuff here. So open up this locker, you got extra fender storage on your and your backup winches, just in case you need to wind up your anchor for some reason. And then I love this. <clears throat> There's another hose reel. So you know, proper, like you can pull the whole thing out, you can wash down your deck, <clears throat> clean your windows if you need to. And there's your 400 feet of chain, its own stacked compartment too. <clears throat> and then windless anchor. Even little hooks for your lines if you wanna use that too. Just kinda, these are little, this little piece here is a deck light and there's a few of them at night. Again, just kind of fun blue lights at night and they're all LED, they don't draw anything, but it's just a, just a nice touch. Sorry, I had another phone call coming there. If we got time, we have time. I'm gonna just take a minute here and show you how this garage opens. I think I gotta do is push the button and uh, wait a second. <clears throat> Actually, you even have a stereo remote here. There's two speakers built into the transom. It's a really fun family, friends, just a couple, whoever, like, however you want to cruise, there's something kind of fun and great about this boat for everybody. So here you see the tender in the garage. Let's just stop it there. So this is actually on a lift. So you lift this up a bit. Pull this piece out, pull the tender out, away you go. And you can see you can get down into the corners here. So you have a full walk-in engine room.
And that about concludes my time on campus as well. Shines like new, has good wax job, gets waxed every year. One owner boat. Sellers actually moved up into a new princess yacht, which we, princess yacht, which we represent. And uh, looking for a nice home for his 53 Regal. And if he does all the things he's done to this boat on his new boat, that boat will be a awesome boat to pick up one day as well. Hopefully not too soon. <clears throat> he enjoys it for many years, like he did with this one. So guys, this boat's 2017, 53 Regal.